big ceremony in St. George's Square opens Glasgow's five-week campaign against tuberculosis, the biggest mass X-ray in history. The Lord Provost of Glasgow helps a schoolgirl to cut the tape, and the campaign is on. Thirty-seven torchbearers spread outwards from the square, carrying the campaign's message to every ward of the city. Glasgow plans to X-ray a quarter of a million people during the five weeks at dozens of centres and mobile clinics. First to be X-rayed are the Secretary of State for Scotland and the Lord Provost. Thirty-seven mobile X-ray units, the biggest fleet ever gathered together, have converged on Glasgow from all parts of the British Isles. Each unit weighs 14 and a half tonnes. This help from over the border is very welcome, for Glasgow has the highest tuberculosis rate in Western Europe, and nothing short of all-out medical war will conquer the terrible disease. From the corporation's health department, the medical officer of health directs operations. To assist him in his tremendous task, the city has enrolled a voluntary corps of 18,000 helpers. Forms have to be delivered to every home and the replies sorted. Records have to be kept of those who agree to be x-rayed and the names of those who are reluctant listed for interviewing. Health experts say the cause of Glasgow's high TB rate was malnutrition during the depression of the 30s, followed by overwork on insufficient food during the war, combined with lack of ventilation in the blackout. Surprisingly, perhaps, they say Glasgow's notorious housing conditions are not a major factor. But whatever the cause, Glaswegians are well aware of the problem, and they cooperate willingly. Queues at the X-ray centers are many hundreds long, and in the first three hours of the campaign, over 2,500 people have been X-rayed at the three major clinics alone. Every kind of propaganda is used to bring in the laggards. One way the disease spread is through spitting, but even the spitter can't escape the slogans. There's even a lucky draw for the people who agree to be x-rayed, just to encourage the others. First prize is a handsome saloon car. But in case that's not enough to bring them in, thousands of young volunteers hand out leaflets in the streets. All the hard work that has gone into the campaign is justified when the people of Glasgow come in their thousands to be x-rayed. For them, tuberculosis is a real and familiar enemy which has carried off thousands of their fellow citizens. They know it can only be conquered by bringing it into the open and fighting it before it can spread. They are fighting it, and on such a scale that hopes of victory are high.